Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you where to download the Plex MIDI server and how to configure. So this is the website, uh, here you can have a look how it works and where it works. You can use the Plex MIDI server in your computer, in your network attached storage your Plex Cloud Wi-Fi routers. I'm talking about the server, okay? Here, all the devices you can use with Plex Media Server. So you can, from the Media Server, you can stream to your NVIDIA Chill, your PlayStation, your Smart TV, your smartphone. It's available for several platforms, okay? Let's have a look at the differences between the paid version and the free version. Okay, you can still use Plex completely free. I'm doing it. So, you need to sign up and Plex will send you an email. You will need to, to validate that email. After that, you need to download the application for your, for your computer. I'm using a Mac, so I already downloaded and installed Plex on my machine. So now I'm going to start up the application. The Plex Media Server, it's over here. Okay, I already signed in with my username and password. And now we just need to configure Plex MIDI server with all our media files. So I have created this folder just for the video with movies, with the movies for kids, with music and photos. For the Plex MIDI server to, to work properly, you need to, to add your media files from a, an hard, hard disk, from a an R and their network attached storage. We we will add everything right now. Just click add to library, select movies, add folders, select your folder and press add. Click add to library. Okay, Plex will start now searching for thumbnails for the movies information about the movie everything so we are now adding animation movies for kids and places they start looking for covers let's add some music now Next, next, next. And if you wish to import your iTunes, just mark the, the first option. Click Add to Library. Okay, Plexus will Plex will now start looking for all the covers for your music and now we are adding photos okay add to library and it's done so imagine you have thousands of musics hundreds of movies and you add everything to the to plex media servers plex media server will search for the covers the thumbnails all the information inside uh, for the movie I will show you, show you right now This cover is not in my folder also the image from the background is, is not in my in my folder All the information is retrieved from the internet, okay? So you will have your all your collection organized and very pretty
okay this is another movie just for you to see that is loaded with all the thumbnails all the information about regarding the movie everything working very well so let's start uh, this one and imagine you have a smart TV on on your living room and you want to watch this movie just click the cast icon over here and this will search for DNLA devices okay and you will you would start streaming to your TV this icon over here is for the subtitles okay very very easy just place the subtitles with the same name inside the, the folder where you have the the movie okay working also very well for pictures you will be able to share your pictures to all your device your smartphone your iPad your tablet your smart TV another computer also works for your music you will be able to assess your library music movies and photos outside your house this is awesome so this one that has no no thumbnail you can edit and add your thumbnail very very easily okay let's have a look at the status this is like a, a log file about Plexus what he what he's doing and now let's have a look at the config settings everything that you can change over here users you can create users imagine you can create a user for the kids and here the device is authorized to receive files from Plex Media Server there is another section here named channels and this one allows you to go to the store and install more plugins or add-ons uh, that uh, allows you for instance to assess Vimeo to watch IPTV uh, CNN TV a lot of things so I'm installing TED just to show you in the video how it works people don't forget if you like this video if this video is helping you to give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe the channel for more tutorials okay just install it this channel and it's working very very well okay really easy you can change the view here to posters very very easy Plex is an excellent media server you can stream also to Kodi if you if you want you can stream to Kodi in my channel I have a video how to install the the Kodi add-on uh, now I'm going to show you how to assess your Plex media server from your smartphone okay so you just need to install the application opening open it and you will find the, the Plex media server and there you can assess all your media files and imagine you start watching Django on your smartphone and meanwhile you you pause the movie you move to your smart TV you go again to the movie and you can resume the same movie that you paused on your on your smartphone and continue to watch it on your smart TV.
okay the application for for Android uh, must be paid you can use it uh, free but uh, it has several limitations so another option is to install Kodi and install the Kodi add-on for Plex and you will have access to all your media files streaming from Plex okay as you can see working very very well also you can use Plexus on your PlayStation 4 uh, Xbox and I'm using it on my PlayStation 3 with Movian the my PlayStation 3 is with custom firmware so I installed Movian and inside Movian we we can install plugin for Plex uh, I installed the, the plugin but I don't know how to explain you is not finding this computer so I'm going through the local network and I will open my Plex MIDI server and as you can see is working pretty well So any doubt you have about Plex MIDI server, if you need any help, just leave a comment on the below the video. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe the channel and come back for more tutorials.